Welcome to the Mario era chapter 126. 126 de Mario. It's a game. It's a Mario. That's a lot of numbers. Go Panthers, go. Go Panthers, go. I see you, buddy. I see. I happen. spy the Florida Panthers hat on your head. Let's go. Let's bring it home. Come on, Bob. It's got to happen, baby. It's got to happen. This, is got, this, this game has got to happen. They, they did it on purpose. They they did it on purpose. They wanted to win at home. You know they did. <laughs> I'm scared. I just want them to get it done. I don't like what's happened in the last four periods. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I will, because, I will say this. To yeah. your point, Ro, uh, the girls were at my mom's today, and I went over to pick them up this afternoon, mm -hmm. and my mother is going on this rant about how it's all fixed and they did it on purpose that everyone everyone was in it for the money they needed to come back and and i'm like you do you think the players are they are do they have equity share in what happens back home like do you think that they not wanted to end it and, and hoist this, the cup you think they were all in on it you think that the, the that the owner went in prior to the game and said hey boys uh, you're not winning tonight. Wink, wink. Bro, like, why are you bringing just, a reason I, so to said, a conspiracy just, theory? I said, just stop it already. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> you guys are naive. I'm like, oh my God, I gotta go. Girls, mm -hmm. <laughs> get your shit. <laughs> you were leaving uh, we, <laughs> It was a trip, dude. Hello, Mama Russ. He was dead ass serious too, man. So, I'm so like, I have okay. A, I have a funny story to share before we kick off the show. So my kid, he's in a, a little league game, and uh, and uh, one of his one of his uh, teammates, good kid, but uh, apparently you know he was dropping a, a little too many f bombs. Yeah, I know what your question is going to be. How old are they? I'm like, well, they're 12 and 13, and they're at that age where it's that's starting fun. to act. Yeah, yes, sure. they're, they're starting to act like a like a college dugout, right? Some of the things these kids are saying. Well, we get warned by the umpire, and the umpire's like, hey, hey. He needs to calm it down. I've let it go on, go on for way too long now. So I said, okay. So he's like the next one up to bat. <laughs> and he takes a fastball off the hip. <laughs> like right on it. So what do you think he does? Oh, boy. He throws the bat and, and lets out the biggest F-bomb. Motherfucker. <laughs> so the umpire <laughs> rings him up. Mm -hmm. he, all right, oh man, get the fuck out of here. Yep, that's oh. number one. But wait, there's more. <laughs> so, wait. mama, being a perfect mama bear, is like, you can't do that to the kid. He just got hit with the ball. How, he puts his heart into this. I can't believe you're doing it. You're being an asshole. So, she called him an asshole. So, you know what he did? Hit the button. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, that's Sue. <laughs> <laughs> so, then the dad, who's right next to the mom, oh, <laughs> starts chirping. <laughs> they get into it. I walk over to the defense to to be the calmer head and let it prevail. And all I know, I hear the umpire goes, "I'll meet you in the parking lot too." Guess what? Get the fuck oh out of here! God. He rang the whole family. <laughs> I'm like, what just happened? I've never seen that. Awesome. You know, he's got so much street cred for <laughs> in the umpire circles in the group. Oh yeah, yeah guys, guys, guess what I did today. And they're all like, oh, you got rid of those guys? Right. Yeah. 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 Yep. Everybody's happy. Oh, everybody everybody except phenomenal. for the kid and his family. Absolutely. Good shit. You, you funny. guys have, uh, Ro, I know, Ro, you've done Airbnb, right? Yes. So mm -hmm. we uh, were, I just left Jen. We're, we're booking our first one for New Year's Eve in a little uh, cabin in Tennessee. And <laughs> she's I've never done one process. in a cabin in Tennessee, I will say. I she's, have. She's uh, she's going through the whole process and she starts cursing and just, you know, she, she's never done it before. I've never done it before. Do you really have to pitch yourself to the owner? Like you have to like write a whole I, thing. I did why it. we'd like to stay there and then they have to approve it. You don't just book it like they have to approve you. I don't remember going through that process. I'll okay. be honest. The missus already did it and we stayed at an Airbnb in Tennessee. On okay, Sugar yeah, Mountain, going in so, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good I, question. I I think that they've changed some things. I know that, like, you are reviewed. Like, you can review the place mm -hmm. and the management or the owner, whoever handles the property, us. and they can review you. Okay. So I guess if you do, if you've never done it before, and you don't have any reviews, 
then I'm sure they probably have. They don't know who the fuck you gotcha. are. Gotcha. Okay. Just right. because you have money to spend doesn't mean that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I will say, I will say, even with reviews, I think, I don't know where we were. We went somewhere and they had asked, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you're going to mm -hmm. do when you're here. Gotcha. Okay. Right. So it wasn't <laughs> like, to, yeah, yeah, for real. That's what they're kind of asking. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So she should not put any attitude and that'd be so, very nice. So well, I, I don't mean, forget. You sign it, Jezebel. <laughs> So I don't forget, and I don't want to jump the gun, but one of the questions, and hopefully the producer can remember this, question one of five questions is going to be, what is the weirdest response you could tell an Airbnb owner while you're there? <laughs> oh, my God. I got a couple. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll yeah. wait for it. We'll okay. wait for it. Depends on where you're going. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the mountains of Tennessee. Mm -hmm. I got a good, good one. responses. Yeah. I got a good one. <laughs> All right. So uh, we are in the middle of the off-season rotation. Obviously, that means all you know. Listen, we talked about it last week. All the, uh, the Florida Miami has playoff implications now, according to Greg McElroy. Obviously, on our end, and he makes a good point. He's like, "Listen, Miami has a lot of expectations. You go in there and lose week one, you really still think they're going to go ten and one? Or you know, I mean, he's got a good point. If you lose to Florida week one, you're probably going to lose some other games. Correct. Correct. So I mean, a good point. So yeah." All eyes are on the University of Miami. Florida, mm -hmm. Flor Florida, for all intents and purposes, they have no pressure. I mean, you expect them to go 2-10 and ten with that record, and one of the 10 should be the University of Miami. Miami retooled its roster. We keep saying it week after week after week. Number one players in the portal like crazy. Uh, a stack load of defensive line. They're going to be able to put pressure on it. But you got a rival with its back against the wall. A loose rival. We don't play them all the time. Let's grant it. Give it that. They will dodge us at all costs going into this SEC gauntlet moon, moving forward. So I think we're going to play them even less frequently these days. But McElroy is absolutely 100% correct. The pressure's on us. And, you know, I, immediately that could go from like a 10 and 2, 11 and 1 prediction. If you lose against Florida, you're, you're right back to like 8 and 4, 7 and 5. I'll, gi I'll give you my take on this. If Miami loses at Florida, the season is fucking over. <laughs> hmm. That's I'll it. I'll just get the hell out of here. That's it. You can't. You can't lose to them. No, it's over. Just, just fucking well, pack it in. Well, listen. From the fan base's standpoint, Scoop, there's really two games you can't lose. You can't lose Florida. You also can't lose to South Florida. You're losing to South. I'm just telling you, we're losing that game. <laughs> Eleven and one with the loss to the Bulls. Right? To the Bulls. <laughs> Ask Alabama; they almost pulled that off too. I, know, I, I look. You think, I'm, you think I'm kidding? But from a, a fan standpoint, like you, the, those yeah, are two. No, those yeah, are that's just, a terrible. Oh. That's a terrible loss. But I'm more afraid of that game than any game on the schedule. I mean, listen, we we, we can't have a situation where now we have our two most recent losses in state. We lost to FIU, then we lose to South Florida. Like, I mean, bro, like you can't you can't keep losing to the to the big five, six, and seven schools. Mm. Yeah, because Florida's down there. They're definitely not one, two well, this year. That's for no, sure. They're definitely three. Oh my god! So put them up in front of UCF because fuck you. Did they win five games last year? No. They won yeah, four no, games. They, no, they were not bowl eligible. I was then, unsure if they won four or five. I'm not sure. I think that it was season. five. Whatever. With the same, look, you, you've got the same quarterback. you got Mertz, unless Lagway takes him over. Gators were five and seven. Yes, yeah, so they won five games. I mean, they, and, and they're dog shit. Honestly, they're, they're just not good. And God, you can't lose that game. You can't lose a game. You can't. You can't. Oh my God. You can't. You can't. I'm just, Immediately, that going is the ahead. biggest win. It's the biggest. It's the biggest game in, in Mario's career, and it's not even close. You it's think? not even close. The pressure that's going to be magnified, hundred percent, going to Gainesville. Three, bro. It's year bro. three. This is the that you went all in. You pushed all the chips in with the players, with with Martinez, with Cam Ward. Like you went, like you can't, you can't walk out there week one and step on your dick. You cannot <laughs> do it. You can't, bro. Like the can't entire fan it. base will lose their shit. You, oh can't my do god, that, bro, you can't do it. Like I'm not doing another eleven weeks if we lose week. Well, they, they fly, they fly in banners. They fly in banners. You think? Oh, I just absolutely. think the pressure the intensified. One hundred percent. I think the pressure intensified just because Florida's bad. If Florida was actually good, you could lose this game. Totally, still have a totally. Really good they season. were ten yes. and two last year. Yes, yes. absolutely. But yes. they sucked. Yeah, you <laughs> will. I'm guessing that Miami will be on the road. What seven eight point favorite? 
No, Ooh, that's way no too chance. high. That's three and a half. We think like three and a half. Yeah, three and a half. Three, three. four. Well, yeah, we should win by like t- 15, 20. It, you know what? <laughs> when we won, last won the national championship in two thousand one, we were on the road. We played in Happy Valley, right? And that that game was supposed to be close, mm-hmm. and we blew them out of the water in a hostile environment. Same thing's going to have to have to happen for the University of Miami if the Miami. Hurricanes can go into a hostile environment and blow them out. Yeah, maybe you can drink a little bit more Kool Aid at that point because that's what you're supposed to do to to uh, more inferior win teams win by a point. I, I don't. I mean, honestly, win by a point doesn't make any difference. A win is a win in that game. What do you think? Uh, if I asked you over the last 17 games in this series, what the record is, what would you say? Mm, Ten and seven. losses, huh? Ten and seven. We're 13 and four against them. Wow. They were a lot in that, in the, in the first. Yeah. Uh, 12 that were wins yeah, that for we us, just, right? Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. And then they stopped. <laughs> it's only been, well, we lost to Cor- with Corey up there. Mm-hmm. We lost. We that. won with Tracy Howard's pick six down here. We did, but then we lost the game in Orlando and we lost still, the game in Orlando. I'm still laughing at Driscoll's yellow G string that he wore that day. I still I was like, dude, the guy is wearing a highlighted thong underneath. Like, like, what is he doing? Did he lose a bet? I mean, I mean this we is didn't, years ago. This if is we years didn't ago. know Penis was a fraud after that for, at, when he got to the All third the series. My hmm. God, that first series, I thought we had gone back to the mother load. <laughs> And then he the then it basically play, came out. The players that, were in motion the first play. <laughs> and then on like the second couldn't play. Believe it. And then on the second play, we got like too many men in motion. Yeah. Got a penalty. He's like, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Through this. These kids can't figure it out. <laughs> oh. All right. Um, the other, uh, I, I did not read this and I'm not going to give them the clicks to. But, bro, if you want to read the comments, the Herald uh, had an op ed piece recommending that Miami drop sports. Oh. Because Why? the NIL and I didn't was I didn't read it, so I'm, but I'm guessing it was because of the NIL and just the financial changes, not being in a power conference any longer because of the ACC, just all of that, all of that. But they basically they just walk away from source. They went all Sports Illustrated on us. Sure. The fuck. I mean, Stupid. like for like like will Rudy pull all the advertising out of the Miami Herald now? That that really is that. I mean, it's like I I didn't read why. Why but, would you even bother to put yourself out there like that? No, right? but I want to know what is your rationale. Did you read the article? I did I mean, not know. You have to I'll read that shithole publication. You had a paywall. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> if, <laughs> but I was just happy that Susan's cats was outside the paywall, so we got to enjoy her outside the paywall as much as we wanted. But I can't guess why they would say that. Is it inflammatory? Is it for clicks? Absolutely. But I can't rationally tell you at all. It's some it's, dude named Robert why, Sanchez. I don't even know who the hell he is. But why would you, why would you think that gets clicks? Right? Like, if we have to play in a debate like team right now, like the debate club, uh, what is your debate to say they should? Like, I, I can't fathom a reason why. Like, you wrote an op-ed. You can't even find a re- rational thought process to figure that one out. Because there's NIL and they should just drop sports because you just want to focus on education. Oh, well, that's dumb. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Education is stupid. Education is fine, but the two can work hand in hand. <laughs> yes. Oh, they can. One or the other, of oh. yes, they can. Oh, they do in many unison. other universities. And it oh. does it in the universe. Nobody else. He didn't mention anyone teams. else should drop sports. No, no. I think he said Florida and FSU just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, you know, oh, Barry oh, University oh, can keep oh. doing it. All of that, even the St. Thomas. All maybe that. it's because yeah, yeah. we're private institute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he attacked Eckerd College or Elon or any of those. Emory Riddle. <laughs> sure. What sports think Emory Riddle has? Emory Riddle sounds like a Harry Potter like character. Hello, Emory Riddle. It really does. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. It's a cool there university. Yeah. Uh, Phil Steele, pretty big name in college football, uh, has named five Canes as preseason All Americans. One, uh, well, Kiko on the second team, and then four players, including Ruben, on the third team. Nobody on the first team. Uh, third team was going to be Ruben, um, Xavier, uh, uh, Morgales, and um, Martinez. Martinez, there you go. Okay. Uh, um, 
I don't know. I'm puzzled by Bain because that's the second time you've got you you've got second team All ACC and now you've got third team All American. Um, I think yeah. I understand why. I, I think the tell. reporters, and, and let's just think about this realistically. Like, if Ruben Bain takes another step forward, right, and increases, like, I don't know when the last time we've seen anyone that's going to be getting the numbers that he's going to get. I think all these guys are just assuming that last year was insane. It, there, there has to be double teams now. There's going to have to be a, a, a pullback a little bit. I think that's what they're all kind of thinking the, Have they all not the attention he's going to get at the rest well, of the line, though. I know, but I, I'm not saying I, uh, I, I agree with them. I'm just telling you, I think that's their thought process. That's yeah. how they're getting to that spot. Me personally, dude, I think he is going to destroy people this year. And if he doesn't, then Mesador is. And like, I mean, like you, you pick your poison here with this defensive line. You got the dude from Michigan teams. State who's finally yeah. locked in. I mean, yeah. He's a monster. Mm -hmm. Um. If if Bain takes that jump, you know where he's going to be. He's going to be in that first round top top, top five like, yeah. top five talk. Yeah. If he yeah. jumps the way we think he is, that's what he's going to be. So good for us. I mean, that's a game changer. I mean, he was a game changer last year, but if he's going to develop, what a freak! He, he, he's got to be as close to anyone we have on the roster since when this that could be unblockable for the most part. Hmm. I mean, when's the last time we've like legit had an unblockable guy on the defensive line? I just remember what he was doing to that Cle that Clemson tape was fun, yeah. and I just remember what he was doing to some of those you know big country mm -hmm. boys over there on the offensive no, line. Who's mm -hmm. who's our boy who went to the Bills? I love me some Dabo. Oh, Fel um, Feliciano? No, Mago? no, no. The uh, the, uh, the the edge rusher. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, Rousseau. 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 He's yeah. the last one that you were like, damn. I mean, he's really Huge. tough to mm -hmm. handle. Huge credit to Mark Richter on that one, too, because that kid at one time was playing safety. I would so. also say that one year, man, Gerald True. Willis. Yeah, was it was monster. fun. That was he fun. was a monster. Mm -hmm. That was fun. He, he was unblockable. Yeah. He was. Yeah. yeah, that was what, like seven years ago? Yeah. That's crazy, then, right? It was a long we, time ago. Then we had yeah. high hopes for Nesta, but he bullied Tommy Kennedy, so that was fun. <laughs> so did you. <laughs> <laughs> no, he bullied me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't, don't get it twisted, my oh, dude. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, let's talk, Man, uh, he was angry. Talk about our people. What do you Had think to he's drive doing? Up to, uh, huh? What do you think he's doing, Tommy Kennedy? Oh, fishing. But back in Texas? Yeah. Fishing? Hunting? Going to be helping Bain uh, sell roofs. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. up in Fort St. Lucie today. A lot of blue tarp country up there, people. Bro. Blue tarp country is down here in South Florida. I don't know if you've paid attention outside, but it is raining cats and dogs. It is and, and you know what? I was at my son's baseball game in Delray. There was like just a sliver of rain coming off the Atlantic, and it literally just went over our baseball field. And everywhere else, it was fine. So we had to move the game to a different location. But you don't have that luxury. If it's raining, you can't just move your house. And if it keeps raining, you're going to get a leak. But you can have all the comfort in the world because there's one number you need to call. 981-ROOF, 561-954-305. Staples in the South Florida community, huge Canes fans. Give them a number. You know what time it is. Bang. And give them a call. Hey, I'm Paul. Give them a call. Bang. 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 It's almost football season. Bang. Boys are stoked. Mm hmm. You know what yep. they said? You know Bange. what they told me? You know what they said? Bang. If we lose to Florida, season's fucking over <laughs> <laughs> they didn't really say that i'm just making shit up uh what else we got to talk about it's hot you out your balls about, are you sweaty your testicles baby Trim them up, revive them done good uh crop dust them or whatever that other shit is mm -hmm. is that it is that what it is yeah. yeah yeah okay trim your nuts boys Promo code OBB at Manscaped will get you 20% off whatever you want on that website. So do it up. Promo code OBB. That's pretty dope. The packages, bro, 40 units, more, more 45. than 45.7 units, 45.7 for units at the U S open. That was alone cash just for 20. Yeah. That was uh, that was fun. Beatingthebookie.com is what we're talking about. You can get all your picks and plays, and uh, you've got the Travelers uh, starting. This drops on Wednesday morning, so mm -hmm. you'll have an entire day to get your shit together. Get over to Beatingbookie.com and get your 
uh, package for the travelers, as well as NHL ends probably tonight. We're hopefully, hoping. hopefully, hopefully. Uh, or last Euro. night, go Panthers! Or when we're, uh, we're, Euro we're, we're soccer champions. is going on. He's thirty-five. Uh, everything's cranked up. Futures are out. Yep. Well, futures are done because it already started. But uh, yeah, and then football, 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 football. We talk about the U.S. Open briefly. It was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Bryson, I have never in my lifetime seen a change in the person themselves as well as the acceptance from the fandom of a sport the way I have with this guy. It's fun. He's fun all of a sudden. Let and me ask uh you this. Yeah. Um did Bryson win it or did Rory choke it away? Oh, uh, Rory choked the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> but but here's this is golf, right? So here's the thing. Rory was uh 496 out of 496 mm -hmm. in 3 foot putts or less in his last 496 3 foot putts or less. Uh on 16, I guess it was 17. Mm -hmm. I remember it was 16. 16 and 18. 16, he missed uh, a one just under three feet. Um, brutal. Uh, and then missed the one on 18, which, man, that was a, that was a nasty little bender there. Yeah. Uh, so the one on 16 was much worse than the one on one on 18. However, Bryson is under a tree next to a root yep. on 18. He's got to put it somewhere where it's playable. He very interestingly enough, right? So this is this is different type of stuff here. He plays a single length shaft for his irons, right? So all of his irons, if you guys aren't ter terribly familiar, most irons are most all irons played by everyone are not the same length, right? Your wedge is, is shorter than your six iron, right? He plays all of his irons uh, with a seven iron length shaft, so they're all the same. So everything is. It's very vertical, very up and down. It's very uh, uh, machine-like. He was at a disadvantage where he was with that tree, and the he couldn't get underneath it. He had to go. So anyway, he puts himself in a position uh, to blast a 55-yard bunker shot to get up and down to win the U.S. Open. Yes, you need to make that in one putt. So you got to get it close. Right? So Up a hill. If you read his bio, which I think is very cool, and to be quite honest with you, this is probably 90% of all golfers. What's the hardest shot in golf for you? A 60-yard bunker shot, right? It's, it's just really, really fucking difficult. He says it's the best shot he's ever hit. Dude, not within four feet. He hit it to four feet and made the putt to win the Open. So, great question, and I say Rory choked it, but the bottom line is... Bryson still had to get up and down from 55 out in a bunker the to other, win it. Crazy, man. Crazy. The other aspect for Bryson is you also, if you go back further, he had a three shot lead on Saturday and he, and he gave it back. Like he, oh, sure. he had a rough going in and he, so in his mind, he had the lead bro. And then he is no longer in the lead. He could have just at that point, just gone off a cliff. The fact that he was able to recompose himself. He was down two at the yeah. turn. On the Sunday. fact that he was able to recompose himself, yeah, man, bro, from mental standpoint, that was impressive as hell. From so cool, standpoint. so cool, so yeah. cool. And he hit li uh, less fairways than anyone else the entire day <laughs> on Sunday. Yeah, which and is pretty wild too. One point, yeah, it was insane. Yeah, yeah. So that was that was fun, man. Yeah. I enjoyed yeah. it. Do you see all the videos of him afterwards? Yeah, bro, he's got the he's got the the trophy and he's. Hanging out in the bunker with the guy hitting. He's he's on the street hanging out with the people mm -hmm. that he the street he stayed on. He was out. He was up in the in the stands with everybody. Like good for him. I mean, Too all of a sudden he's Olympic now the, the he's now club. everyone's favorite. He's he's a absolute <laughs> non debatable favorite in the sport mm -hmm. now. Yeah, he's the guy. I mean, you like Scotty. He's the best in the world by a mile. But everyone loves Bryson because he, he interacts. It's a different game with him. And he's a live guy. Mm -hmm. And they still have no idea what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. And as a result, he won't insane. be on the Olympics team or on the Ryder Cup team. Totally insane. Good for him. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Let's spin the wheel.
Oh, uh, we'll start with audio of the week. Um, I didn't know Snoop. I didn't know Snoop Dogg was a big baseball fan. Have you guys heard this? No. Yes. Okay. Oh, this is a so treat. this is about a minute, ten seconds. So hang in okay. there. Okay. It's a montage of uh, about an inning and a half that Snoop Dogg spent in the booth for the Brewers Reds game. I didn't know he was a big Brewers fan. Apparently, Snoop's a big Brewers fan. The Snoop Brewers Dogg fans. calling baseball. Mm-hmm. There's a bouncing ball to second. Look at Terang pick it. Easy to one two one two. You yeah. do what it do. Uh, what I told you, get it in there. Oh, he, oh, he in there. That's it. That's yes. I told you, baby. We call that an easy walk in the park. That's the base hit. Give him a single. He does like to mingle. And my favorite jingle is the S to the end. Double low, no, no. Oh, he's taking go. off. He gone. He gone. Let him get there. Let him get there. Where'd he go, Perk? Where'd he go, Perk? Earn mine. You got to earn mine, Perk. You got to earn mine. You get mine back. You get my respect. There you making go, Perk. Making up for that play. I like Bryce. Oh, good hit. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. He can't get there. He can't get there. Oh! Foul ball. <laughs> They chilling right now. They laid back. You know when you hang out with the dog, you got to be laid back. You know what I'm saying? So they, they laid back with their mind on their money right now. How often do people slide down that slide over there? Right? He can't get there. He better not outrun you. He better not outrun you. He better not. You better not let the pitcher outrun you, dog. Come on now. Oh, he gone. He took that. Get up in there. He jumped that. Give him that. Give him that. Way to go eat. Go eat. I'll tell you, no one's ever made a foul ball sound more electric than Snoop Dogg. Well, Snoop do. Dogg could narrate anything. I watched him like do like Animal Planet, and was it was awesome. I, I could watch that for 15 seasons and never get sick of it. <laughs> He's so good. You're talking about someone that's just a universally beloved icon at this point. Isn't that crazy? It's insane. It's insane. Like how, <laughs> how loved he is by yeah. so many different people. Uh, a collection of people, oh, generations of people, yeah. too. Like him and Martha yeah. Stewart, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. My goodness, he was a rapper in the nineties. Yeah, I mean they were sleeping <laughs> together, right? I'm thinking I, this happened at least had once. To. Had on. to, had at to, at least once. There's no way that doesn't happen. There's yeah, no least, way she doesn't yeah. want to at least give it a shot. Oh, 100%. yes, I am. <laughs> oh, okay, so he's into it. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she'd hate herself. Yeah. We're not giving it one ride. One try. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, what is going on with Landon Donovan's hair? Oh, oh. Let it hilarious. go, buddy. Well, turn into ooh, Elsa. Let it go. No, it, turn like... into Elsa from, from Frozen and just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah. So, first of all, man, he was giving just awful advice. So for so he had hair transplant surgery, mm. and when they do that, they take it off the lower. And I I only know this because I actually went to the doctor to look into it. I never had it done, but I I went down that road. There was it was it was possibly generous. It was going to be a a radio endorsement, so it was going to be free. You know that you always like oh, yeah. free surgery. Yeah, nothing nothing nothing, nothing <laughs> smells <laughs> trade like <Yes>. surgery. <laughs> no, 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 you never go wrong with free surgery. But anyways. They do it by uh, removing the follicles from the the base of the back of your uh, head on the back. So that's where the where you see where it was shaved on the back. That's why. Now they told him it wouldn't show up on camera. What? <laughs> like, what? what are you talking about? Who told you that, bro? <laughs> yeah. So, but that's what happened. And Landon, bro, just uh, shave your head. Like you're bald. Just the plugs ain't gonna look good, bro. Coast is the authority here. I'd, like just, I, I will defer to him. Like, yeah, just, you got to defer to that. Happen, dude. Like the plug, I have yet to see anyone that got plugs that it actually looks good. And they all True. bitch about it. True. Well, how can you not bitch about it? No, about the about after they get the plugs. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's just, it's it's yeah, just stop. Uh, just, you're losing your hair, man. Shave it. So get a fucking rug. Elsa, let it go. Yeah, do something on there. I'm going to ferret. Got a ferret. Um, Bill Belichick is dating a 24 year old cheerleader. Yeah, he is. Good for Bill. Apparently, I know what he sees too. in her. I know what he sees in her. Just have no idea what she sees in him. Listen, man, he uh, he needed something to do without having a head coaching job anymore. He found something, found a new hobby. He's a he's a thrill on dates too. Let me tell you. <laughs> well, he had been with a woman for a long time. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize they broke up. Yeah, yeah. Linda Holiday, right. I guess so was her name. So, so let's let's have this conversation. 
<laughs> it's the same well, old thing. Well, no, I mean, like, you know, does Bill meet her parents? And are they younger than him? No, most likely. No, they don't meet. Like, their parents meet. are probably like 50. She's, she's 24. So she's 24? Yeah. And he's uh, in his 60s? He's, he's 72. 72. Yeah, no. no. I would go with either she's estranged from her parents. Okay. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, she used to have a job where, you know, she, they probably don't get along with her parents very well, or her parents just aren't around anymore. There's no chance. Think about this. Dude, he's unless, unless her dad's a huge Patriots fan. That's even worse, bro. It's <laughs> like you're pimping around. Like, what? Dude. <laughs> I mean, there's no way her dad's like a Giants fan. I, right? I mean, that is a huge gap, but I'm starting to hear a little I'm starting to hear that gap a little bit more these days because Jimmy Page, uh, Mick Jagger, they're they're, they're their significant others are like 50 to 60 years younger. Dude, dude this is 48 years. Like this is here's, this is like here's the thing. Bro. People don't people don't think about this, right? People don't consider. It's a huge number difference. And you're like, "Oh my god, it's old. She's, you know, hot, she's younger and whatever." People don't consider the daily existence of how old is she? 24. A 24-year-old woman who has no ailments, mm -hmm. nothing wrong, right? Can wake up, go to sleep, fine, doesn't get hung over. You know, everything's fine. To a 72-year-old dude, yeah. right, who wakes up in pain every day, <laughs> right, has to piss 40 times a day, right, has to take medicine for this and medicine for this. He's got doctor's appointments four times a week. Like, it's a totally, he doesn't want to go out. He would yeah. rather just stay home yeah. and play fucking Scrabble. And this chick wants to go clubbing. Like, it, the daily existence is so far away from one another. That's the part that people just, I, I don't think people really understand. So hey, you I got to call out somebody. Go ahead, Test. You don't think we're going to get photos of her and him Walking into a club at like eleven thirty on a Saturday night in like you know New York Bill City with or the something. hoodie, yeah, like totally, I mean, come on, bro. totally. And <laughs> yeah. you know what happens? You know what happens? They shuffle him right straight through and out the back door so he can get in his car and go the fuck home. <laughs> Just an appearance. That's it. But I, I got a call. I got a call to light a, a particular group. You know the twenty somethings. What what is this generation Z? A A? I don't know. Man, come get your girls. I mean. Get out of your mom's basement. Stop playing video games and stop letting the boomers take your bitches. True. <laughs> like this should be a thing. Don't let the boomers take your bitches. Come on now. <laughs> My goodness, boys, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep up. You can't let Bill Belichick take your girl. What? Uh, I mean, what how do you introduce? How does Bill introduce him to his son, who I think is like twenty nine or thirty? <laughs> Stay away. Hey kid, <laughs> she's oh mine. God. All right, yeah. this is ridiculous. I, I bought know. a lot of medicine for this. Leave me alone. <laughs> all right, so, so when something like this happens, I'm just fascinated by just the. Uh, so personally, he's got a he's got a group of friends, right? Guy friends or whatever, who probably have wives that are wives. closer in age. Yeah. Now, are those wives now uh, the shit they're saying about him behind the scenes? They, they, they don't they, even let they don't let her. Want them hanging out now? Right? They don't let her around. No. <laughs> I mean, those old oh, hounds don't like the girls with the puppy oh, well, breath. Yeah. There's no way. No, no her chance, bro. Her skin's too taut. No. She's still well, got puppy the breath. Fact that now they think, well, they, he starts bringing her around, and then she's going to bring her friends around. It's going to yeah. entice all their husbands. And exactly. it's, No, no, no. Like, gravity it, hasn't she's had an not allowed on her yet. He yeah. and she are not allowed at any of the events anymore. No. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. I think we flushed that one out pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Charles Barkley's retiring next season. Yeah, that's making him made it official. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, you know we talked about Snoop Dogg. I think Charles Barkley has that kind of like reaching acclaim and that reaching acceptance among so many different types of people. Misha Chuck, mm -hmm. the round mound of rebound. It is. Uh, it is surprising how badly uh, uh, Warner Brothers has just screwed this whole thing up, losing the NBA, 
just i mean the, oh my god they have just destroyed this thing <laughs> and the worst thing is dude is that man like that is literally the best studio show we've had on tv for the better part of 20 years and it's gone and there's nothing that's close to it correct nfl fox fox nfl eh. I mean, this is no, just they a crazy suck, old dude. man. Yeah, not just a weird shit. Yeah. They suck. Like, I mean, Bill, Ka Bill Cowher. I can't believe now. that dude's still on television. He's the worst ever. Mm -hmm. uh, he's next on the chopping block. They got rid of like Phil Sims and Boomer yeah. Esiason. So, like, probably like all of them. Think about it. That was yeah. all. Oh my god. Listen, I, you know, listen. I think the savior for uh, pregame shows is going to be Saban on game day. I think he's going to be phenomenal. I'm sure he will be. Yeah, and they can finally show Corso the door. What was better, Chuck's playing career or his broadcasting career? Broadcasting. Broadcasting. Yeah. Which is I crazy would say he was an exceptional player. Oh, yeah. I mean, I would say, timer. I mean, they yeah. must have won awards, right? They won awards. They won Emmys like, every year. Oh, yeah. Every, every year. year. So, and so that's, I guess, the equivalency of like your world championship. He never won one as a basketball player. So, nope. nope. Easy. Nope. All right. All right. Well, that's, that's pretty much Wheel of Topics. All Very right. good. All right. Which Five means questions. It's time for. Hello. And we have a first question already, right? Yeah. Five questions. I have yes, an answer. I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, this is a good one. You are you like going hanging in pubic hair. To take an Airbnb. And the Airbnb owner asks, asks why are you coming? So you are like hanging in yes, pubic hair. Yes, I am. Why are you here? What is your purpose for your stay? What are some unique answers? That you right, can respond I got with. one. If we're going to, where are you going? Tennessee. Yeah. Take me to another. We're going place. to Tennessee. I'm going to tell him, look, it's close enough to West Virginia to where I can stay in Tennessee and be in, incognito when I go and spy on the Whitakers. Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, no way, man. <laughs> they catch you, they'll eat you. I know. That's why okay. I need to. I need to be far <laughs> enough away. Pigs. Yeah, <laughs> far enough away. I mean, that's a good. That's we're, we're thinking of answers that freak him out a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, hey, hey. What is you say? Hi, I think for me, it would just be like because bomb making is illegal in my state. There you go. Yeah, I was gonna be like you know uh, the mountains of Tennessee. Just as soon as you have a rather nice property, you know, I have a shovel. Just you know. Just excavating. <laughs> just digging a few holes. I'm digging a few holes. Not a few holes. Anything in I like time. to do it outside of the boundaries of my own yeah, city. Exactly. You know, just from time yeah. to time. Mm -hmm. By the I way, just... don't don't try to contact Jen after <laughs> she books this. Right. <laughs> All right. Jenners. I'd be intentionally vague. You're nothing that illegal. Uh, should be should be fine. It should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> just let them spin in their own head. Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody answered? Yeah. Question number two, when I can find it. What villain makes you think, well, he or she does really have a point? Oh, uh, yeah, Magneto. Really? What's his point? Who's that? That, uh, that just uh, humanity is just worthless. That just, yeah, human Who? beings are just trash. <laughs> just, yeah, and the and the uh, yeah, and the freak should just go ahead and take over. Who are we talking about? Magneto. What you said, Magneto. He said, "Who?" Yeah, right. <laughs> who? <laughs> not talking talking about? Does he play for Florida? Who is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, mine's easy. Thanos. There you oh, go. And that's that was my snap answer. half of humanity away. Bye. That's here you go. Yeah, see, not, you know, this is similar similar things. Now, could you have just done the same snap and doubled resources instead of killing half the universe? Sure, but can I'm you yeah, imagine was, twice as many pessimist. people, Jenners? Are you talking? What you want to go to hell? No. Yeah. Just yeah, kill, <laughs> kill. Let's you know, kill half the population. I like that one. Yeah. Well, since he stole big, my uh, since he stole my universe scoop that you could have seen over the last fifteen years. I don't know. Since he stole my answer, I, I'm going to go off the off the cuff here and sit there and tell you that it's Darth Vader. I mean, he kind of had a point. I mean, the Emperor was 
past his prime, a little bit too power hungry. He just wanted to take over the universe with his son. I mean, that's kind of admirable. He had a point. All right. We'll give it to you. Okay. Scoopy? I don't know many villains. Um, do do? <laughs> Come on, just say her name. No, I'm, no, no, no. I'm going Jeez. Bill Clinton. <laughs> like the high road. That's good stuff. I mean, he had a point. I mean. <laughs> ah, all right. Question number three. What's the most ridiculous common saying? I, don't know. I mean, irregardless. I mean, I don't think misused, just okay. we've kind of done that before, but just what is the most ridiculous? That question sucks. That's a All stupid right. question. I was, my answer was going to be bro. Okay. Just the simple word bro. Every Everybody's bro these days. Right. Bro, okay. bro. I listen to a little kids in the dugout and everything's bro, bro. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll take that out. All right. Question number three again. Man, yes. what is a physical trait that you will find appealing on a woman, but she often feels self-conscious about it? Oh, um, you know, size of the breasts. Okay. Yeah, a lot of women are self-conscious mm -hmm. about that. Mine's a little bit weirder than that. Like, I think the ears are cute, especially when they kind of like stick out of their hair a little bit. And a lot of girls are self-conscious about their ears. I'm like, ah, you, you ever you ever go like, hey man, I really like your ears. Those are those are kind of oh, it's, it's like stop looking at my ears. It's like, yeah, whatever. Have you no. ever opened up back in the day? Like, wow, you got awesome. You got sexy ears. Ah, eh, probably. And I was thinking about your ears last night when I was alone. Oh my god, <laughs> your lobe, that lobe on your right ear. Oh my god, that's like, cute. Oh cute. no, Scoop's got oh, the glasses. Baby. Here we go. Oh, he's got ears on the mind. Wanna, I just want to <laughs> lick that lobe. Oh, oh God! Yes. <laughs> oh, God! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, looking that low with my Landon Donovan haircut. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! There you go. Oh. Oh. What? What was looking the question? The what was the question? <laughs> what was the name of tonight's episode? Licking the lobe is the name of tonight's episode. Is what it is. That what do or you don't find? Let, don't let boomers take your bitches. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even find the question. You're on your own. Just, oh, it's just hey, you know, a physical trait that that you, women that you find attractive that women are self conscious about. Oh, there you go. And earlobes came into it somehow. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Ears. That's a... I didn't just say earlobes, <laughs> you weirdo. I, I mean, it's that's it's tough to top that. That's a little strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. all right. So we're now going I was just going to say booty, but okay. Yeah. okay. Booty, I yeah. can't get my head out of your ear. The in the trunk. I mean, yeah, Sorry, really. God. All right. What down... question four? <laughs> what is a profession that is underappreciated? My earlobe looking. <laughs> Easily. Easily. Underappreciated. Um, back in the day, I would say uh, ditch digging. Oh, well, they still do that. With machines. <laughs> yeah, but they have a guy a machine that's doing ditch digging. Dudes with shovels. Woo. That's underappreciated. You know, back in the day, you'd pull into a gas station, a little thing would go ding, ding, and a dude would run out and yeah. do everything for you. Wipe that. your window down. Check the oil, fill the gas. You'd never get out Amazing. of your car. You still have to do that in New Jersey. You're not allowed to pump your gas. To yes, this New day, Jersey. you can't pump your own gas. In New Against the law, yeah. What? Yeah, everything in yeah. Jersey is full service. Someone's got to do it remember when they Remember when they had uh, auto shops? Attached oh, to the yeah. gas stations. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Now they're all diners or restaurants. Grocery or, stores. Or, or, Subways. Yeah. <laughs> McDonald's, yeah, and yeah, Subways. 100%, Greenhouses. You know? <laughs> I forgot I forgot this question, too. <laughs> what is the 
<laughs> underappreciated profession. Oh, oh yeah. He needs Eric, so. uh, I mean, teachers for sure. Come on. Okay, I mean, who sure. wants to deal all day with a bunch of shitheads? It's only nine months out of the year. Oh, my God. What, what I, grade I, has I, it the I worst? Can't, like, it's, I can't think of a worse profession. I mean, what, what grade has it the worst? I oh, mean, I teachers six, are underappreciated. Six, yeah, I would have I to say middle, middle school. school, too. Well, middle school's so hard, dude. Yeah, yeah well, they're they all gotta, just starting to get into hormones and shit. Like yeah. it's all seventh, stuff, seventh so. grade is a nightmare. Dropping the f bomb. I know because you just finished it. <laughs> just Getting finished. thrown out of games. <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> oh. uh, I mean, I think the obvious answer for me is a plumber. I mean, those guys are underappreciated. I mean, if you're calling yeah. them, it's it's a like you just don't want to touch it. Nah, I mean, no, you don't want to touch it. Yeah, but here's the thing, like. For, I think you have to factor in a financial aspect to this, right? Mm -hmm. Because teachers make shit and they have to deal with their kids all day and then Seven teach them a to a way that they have to be good enough at certain things to be able to maybe make it in life one day. Plumbers get paid really well. Mm -hmm. They make a lot. Uh, they do. They, yeah. they, they make very good money. So they right, because guys. you don't want to deal with shit, so they charge you out the ass, so they can do it for you. Mm -hmm. So, I think financial. I th in in my mind, this question has a financial variable. You and your variables. And I'm over here semanticizing. Right. Today's day and age, I would say cops, just because the cops are villainized most of the time, and it's like, have they ever been a like? Heroes, probably not. No. So no, we're but not I would never want to do a cop's job. I would never want to do a cop. Maybe, job. maybe during the era of cops, they kind of got that notoriety because the bad guys were always the bad guys on cops. <laughs> you rooted for the cops on cops, but now it's just that was harder. a good show. When I was a oh, my kid, goodness. once a year, a couple times a year, we would have the local police officer, officer friendly, whatever, would come like a real cop from the town. But, dude, he was like a hero. He would get – kids would come in. They'd all rush up to him, Officer Luby. Like, everyone loved the police when we were kids. Like, it was – and then I don't know when it all went sideways, but – Well, I will tell you, you also sideways. told us on the last episode a little bit about yeah. Connecticut that we didn't know. So that doesn't surprise yeah. me. Yeah, valid point. Yeah, yeah. All right. Question number five. Sicko! You are an alien spying on Earth. Mm. What observations do you send back to your Orbu Lords? Oof. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so easy. I got one too. Go ahead. That was my answer. <laughs> That's a very good answer. <laughs> it's going to be so easy, boss. Don't worry about it. We got this. <laughs> this is on lock. <laughs> the only thing you got to look out for is this crazy bitch named Hillary. <laughs> oh, you, you, you brought you, it back around. You brought it back around. It's called a callback. Took the high road, went back to the low road. And I don't want to go ahead and tag me in, partner. Tag me in. Yeah, yeah. Let me see your hat. <laughs> Boom. They're confused about your, they're confused about their gender, and you got to watch out for their overlord, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Bring us home. Let's go, Jenners. The people say they're in charge, but they pick up the crap of their animals. <laughs> they walk around there behind them and pick up their their, yes, their feces. Well, so, well, Yet the they're in charge. Do. Okay. The good people pick up the feces. That's true too. That's yeah. true too. Yeah. Hence the uh, what's that dude that you want to get rid of half the population? Oh, Thanos. Thanos. Yeah. yeah, that guy. Yeah, he's yeah. Everyone what's Magneto. Their poo? What's he doing? Magneto. button. Yep. Yeah. Magneto wanted to do it. Any chance right. I can have access to that button? Snap your fingers, baby. That's all it takes. You should really watch those movies. No, I don't think so. <laughs> all right, what are we naming the kids? Uh, goodness, toss the whole family. Uh, education is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you can never go wrong with free surgery. <laughs> don't let the boomers take your bitches. Nice. <laughs> Her skin's too taut, and uh, licking the lobe. <laughs> And I don't know how you don't go with licking the lobe. Yeah, I'm going licking the lobe. Yeah, That's too uncomfortable. 
Yeah, it is uncomfortable. I think you have to. I don't the boomers take your bitches. Fuck me. It's great. also pretty really good. good. No, it's pretty it's good, also too. Really, yeah. really good. I was just saying, that's yeah. like no, my number two is don't let the boomers take your bitches, but I think education is stupid. <laughs> it was <laughs> funny. It was funny. <laughs> just because you read the show what? titles, education, education is, stupid. is stupid. What? You can't just say that. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? No, so I wrote goodness. it down. I was like, what? Oh, uh, God damn. I, I will say I laughed the loudest at that. I'm good it's with just, that. I like licking the lobe. Oh, this is a tough this one. This is a tough one. I, like, I really like don't mm. let the boomers take your bitches. <laughs> <laughs> How about if we name them all three? <laughs> just like, let it go on and just dot, 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 dot. I mean, I mean how many characters can we put in it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Oh my God. Just, find out. <laughs> <laughs> just start typing until it stops. That's well, fine. All right, good. There yeah, you go. It. Hey, it's a, just, this that's a new day. That's, yeah. It's a wash. That's why you're the, the, the show time. Just, just keep typing. Yeah, <laughs> just keep typing. <laughs> Too many to count. Oh my oh, God. All right, boy. So hopefully, uh, <laughs> Panthers get the dub tonight. As always, okay. Go. Range.